we absolutely must, as artists, uh, take this opportunity to tear down any possible wall between any of us and really bring the art to the people uh, to whom it belongs, all of us. If you have something you really want to do in the arts, you'll go out and find the people that are doing it. And if no one's doing it, you just make it yourself. And that's kind of how we started. I started Cantata Profana back when a bunch of us were at graduate school. The origin story is kind of lost to the sands of history. I can't quite remember how some things came together, which is a really beautiful thing that is because there were a lot of people involved. And I thought everything that I had seen other people do, especially from the conductor side, felt like asking people to do something for you, which I was really not comfortable with. And so instead, we sort of found this way of thinking, OK, well, if you go with just the people you really want to perform with and then the repertoire you really want to do, then you find the path. The piece with Rue My Heart is Laden uh, means so much. And it just encapsulates uh, everything about the experience that we're all going through today. What we, what we value in the arts and what it really can bring, um, not the occasion itself, but the ideas and reconnecting with the whole idea of communication. I think a lot of us realize as all of our work just disappeared at the drop of a hat, that we need to have more solidarity amongst musicians and amongst musicians in, and people in the performing arts in general. Uh, to ensure and like use our collective power to make progressive social change. DWB, uh, Driving While Black, is an opera written by my mother, Susan Kander, and her very longtime friend, um, librettist, and an incredible soprano named Roberta Gumbel. Roberta was teaching her teenage boy to drive and to be out alone in the world as a young black man and wanted to create a piece together with my mother about that. And that was the inspiration for the opera itself. You have this first half, which is, which is so sweet and so tender. And then you have the second half, which is the reality and the, the, the feeling that, that there, there is so much more to be said, uh, even within these three beautiful words. My father told me every morning, 
you are not who they see. I'm going to tell you every morning, you are not who they see.